What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use static files with Flask and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at static files with Flask. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so continuing on with our little Flask app here, if we look at it here, we've got a About Me page, we've got a Subscribe page. In the last couple of videos, we looked at you know making this form work. In this video, I wanna talk about static files. And static files are CSS, JavaScript, and images. And every web framework sort of treats those things a little bit differently, and uh, we need to look and learn how to do that in Flask. So let's head back over to our code. And Flask handles static files by assigning them all to a static folder. So anything you put in a static folder will become a static file. And the things you're gonna put in there are CSS files, JavaScript files and images. So we just come up to our main directory, not our templates directory, but just our main MyFlask directory. And let's right click and create a new folder. And then down here, let's just call this static. Now there's no settings page like on Django where we have to define the static folder. Uh, Flask just knows if we've created a folder in our main root directory called static, that that's our static directory, right? So you could just put your files right in here. So we can go new file, and let's just file save as, and we can save this as whatever for now. And you can just, you know, have it like that. I like to break them apart into the type of static file they are. So we wanna create a directory based on what kind of file it is. So we want an images directory, we want a, a CSS directory, and we want a JavaScript directory. You don't have to do that, but you know, it just makes sense to keep track of everything. So let's click on static and create a new folder. And let's just call this JS for JavaScript. Uh, let's do it again for uh, images and let's do it again for CSS. All right, so inside of our CSS folder, let's just create a CSS file real quick and let's go new file and let's go file save as and let's just call this style.css. And of course you can name this anything, but it's always the convention to name your CSS files, you know, style.css. And uh, I'm just gonna create some very simple CSS here so that we can sort of take a look at this and let's go color white and what font size maybe. I don't know, we're just playing around. Let's go uh, 146, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's make up pixels and okay, maybe then we want a body tag here. Play around with the body and let's just change the background to what some color dark blue, doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's just go ahead and save this. Now, how do we access this thing? Well, let's go back to our base.html. And since this is a CSS file, we wanna put it in our base.html so it gets reflected on every page of our site. And I could just paste, you see, you probably remember we're using Bootstrap in our, in our website. So Bootstrap has its own CSS file, but we can add another one. So I'm just gonna copy this one and paste it in. And we don't need this integrity thing and we don't need this cross origin thing. All we really need is the location. So we could just point this to static slash CSS slash style dot CSS. Now, if we save this and head back over to our app, which is still running in the terminal and reload, boom, we get this hello world is really big. It's white colored now. And the background of this thing is dark blue, right? So uh, just that easy to start using CSS files. So we can, you know, play around with this if we want this to be 46 instead of 146, whatever, right? <laughs> right. Uh, and that's how that works. So that's one way to do it. And we just sort of hard coded this in right here. But of course we learned earlier that we can use these URL for tags. And so let me just copy this one and paste it in. Now it's a little bit different here. Now we need to go, we need to call this static and then there we go and then we need a comma and then we need to go file name equals and then pass in our index or pass in our style dot css but remember we put this in the css 
directory. There we go. So we can save this. And this is just a Flask you know, URL like we've looked at before. Now if we come back here and hit reload, it works exactly the same. And if we you know, view our page source, we can see, let's go up here and find it. It's just converted that into a regular link as it does. So that's one way, or that, so that's the other way to do it. Really either way just sort of depends. It's, it's probably best practices to use these URL4 tags instead, uh, but whatever you like to do. So, all right, let's play around now with images. We've done CSS. Let's just look at images real quick here. And uh, I'm just gonna delete this file thing here. And let's create a new file here and let's just save it as whatever. And the reason why I do that is just so something will pop up here so that now I can right click and click this open containing folder so that I get this, uh, you know, file explorer thing. It's just a shortcut. Now I can delete this file because we don't need it. Now I can drag and drop any images that I might have right on in there. So I'm just gonna, I've got this image of me in Aspen, called it aspen.jpg. So, okay, now it's in there. So if we minimize this, we can see there it is. So now we can reference this wherever we want. So let's go to our, let's see, templates directory, and let's call our base.html. And no, we don't want base.html, we want. So in our home, let's say index.html, underneath our hello world, let's just, uh, I don't know, put a couple of line breaks, and let's just do the, an image tag, imgsrc equals, and the same, same deal, you can call static, slash now it's images slash aspen dot jpeg and let's give this a width of i don't know 300 just to make it a little smaller but we can save it like this and we can come back and hit reload and boom we get our nice little picture there if we want to make it bigger we could definitely do that i don't know <laughs> playing around here but you get the idea and just like with the css file we could also instead just copy and paste this, use our image or use our uh, URL for tag, right? So that was just bum 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 bum. Well, let's just go back here to our base and we can just copy this. Just paste the whole thing. So instead of File name CSS, it's now file name images slash aspen.jpg. And let's make it a little smaller just so it's different. Get rid of that old one, save it. And there you go. So really easy to use uh, static files. And the same thing goes for JavaScript files. If we had a JavaScript file, I don't have anyone handy and I don't feel like writing JavaScript this morning because it's Thursday and I never write JavaScript on Thursday. I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> we would do it in the exact same way, right? Right, you would just, you know, put any JavaScript you want in this JavaScript directory, and then just reference it this exact same way like you would, well, obviously, obviously not with an IMG SRC tag, you would use a JavaScript script tag like you do with all JavaScript. And we can look at our base.html and if you're not familiar, you know, these are the JavaScript tags down here at the bottom of the page. So for SRC, you would just put your URL for tag pointing to your JavaScript, and that's all there is to it. So super easy to use uh, static files with Flask, uh, nothing to sort of define in any settings file. You just slap everything in the static directory, and you're good to go. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 85,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.